now we need to understand the slip and the slide tool. Now the slip and the slide tool are about which bits of clips we see in the middle of other clips and how we can move them around. Now I've got a new sequence here which is called slip and slide and there's nothing in it but I'm going to bring in three other sequences. Now it's actually called nesting. I've got other sequences that I'm going to put into this sequence. So if I just show you what these sequences look like, if I go to numbers A, you'll see that I've got lots of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are titles, which we'll do a bit later on. And underneath, I've got a bit of mat. Do you remember, we could create a coloured mat by going here to the new items icon and go colour mat. And that's what I've got, blue colour mat. Now, they're inside their own sequence, which is called number A. And here is number A. And it's a single item. And when I pull it into this particular sequence it comes in as one piece of footage and I've got three I've got number A number B and number C numbers because there are numbers in it and footage bit A B and C so if I take B in now when I pull it to this point can you see I get a black line that's saying it is snapping in place it's coming to the end of that item now snapping is very useful to tell you when you've got to the place and you can let go sometimes however snapping accidentally gets switched off or you don't want snapping because it's not allowing you to get precise enough. The icon for snapping is this one here. If I turn that off and I pull this item here, you'll see that I don't get the black line and I can overwrite the other one without any problems whatsoever. But if I turn snapping back on again, notice the keyboard shortcut is S. So you may accidentally hit that at some stage. Snapping S, click and drag and you can see I get that black line that tells me I'm precisely at the right place. I'm going to bring in numbers C as well and also snap it to the end and you'll see that this work area bar increases to show us that we're covering all of this footage. Now they're simply 1 to 10, 1 to 10 and 1 to 10. Now I'm going to trim all of these so that we see less of them. So I'm going to use my ripple edit tool. Do you remember this one that actually gets rid of footage but also fills in the space left? So I'm going to take my ripple edit tool and I'm going to click on this first clip and go to the end of it and pull it in so that you can see there that clearly we are going to see only up to the number 7 before the number 1 of the next clip will show. You can see this in the program monitor, so let go of that. And then the middle clip, I actually don't want it to start at 1, I think let's start it at a different number. So I need to click on the clip and then I can pull through, let's start it at 3 and that finishes at 10 at the moment, so let's make it finish perhaps at 9. And then this last clip also starts at 1 and finishes at 10. Let's make it start at, click on the clip, and let's make it start at, say, 4. And it's going to finish at 10. So these clips have all been made a lot shorter. The first one counts from 1 to 7. The second clip starts at 3 and goes on to 9. And the last clip starts at 4 and goes on to 10. OK, so I've got three clips in here. But say I want to see different bits of these clips. This is where the slip and the slide tool come along. So I'm going to choose the slip tool and I'm going to apply it to the middle clip. Because at the moment I can see, as we looked before, from 3 till 8. But say I actually wanted it to start at 1 and I needed to move it inside these two clips. I don't want the out point of this clip to change. So at the moment this first clip is finishing at 7. I don't want that to change. And I don't want the in point of the third clip, which is 4, to change but I do want which bits I see of the middle clip to change. So I click on the slip tool, it sort of slips underneath the other clips if you like. Click and drag and as soon as I drag I get an updated window in my project panel. It's telling me that the first clip is going to stay at 7. The out point of the first clip will stay at 7 and the in point of the last clip will stay at 4 but the bits that I'm seeing of the middle clip I'm now going to see from 1 to 6 not from 3 to 9 or whatever it was before. So if I let go now, you'll see that it still finishes at 7, but I'm starting from 1 through to 6, and then the next clip does still start at 4. So let's just do that again. Let's do it. Click and drag and go the other way at the moment. So it starts at 1, and I see through to 6, but if I pull it the other way, I can actually make it start at 4 and go through till 10. I'm seeing a different part of the middle clip by using the slip tool. It's slipping underneath the other two clips. So the first clip, clip A, is staying 1 till 7 and not changing. And clip C 
is staying at 1 till 10 and not changing but the bit that I'm seeing of the middle clip is changing and I can see that updating as I go backwards and forwards with the slip tool so that's the slip tool so at the moment clip 1 is 1 till 7 clip 2 is 2 till 8 and clip 3 is 4 till 10 so what's the difference between slip and slide if I choose the slide tool and I go to this middle clip I'm going to slide it back and forwards over these other clips the beginning and end now it'll only slide so far as there is head and tail footage but what it will mean is the middle clip will remain unchanged so it starts at 2 and it finishes at 8 and that will not change however the out point of this first clip will change and the in point of this second clip will change so if I click and drag you can physically see in the timeline that I'm moving the clip around and it's showing you at the top that the green clip is going to stay at 2 till 8 however the blue clip the first one is going to start now at 6 it was at 7 it's now going to start at 6 and the clip at the end is going to start at 3 not at 4 but I can carry on pulling it all the way down till I can't go any further now simply because the clip at the end has reached 1 and that's the furthest it can go so I'm only going to see 1 till 4 on the first clip I'm still going to see 2 till 8 on the middle clip and I'm going to see 1 through 10 on the last clip as I pull it this way but as I pull it the other way I can pull it all the way out till 10 on the first clip but it won't go any further because that's the end of the first clip that's the end of all the footage that's available so the middle clip stays completely the same in the sense of you see all that you originally planned but when you slide you're changing the out point of the first clip and the in point of the third clip as you slide the clip over the other two clips that you have so that's the slip and the slide tool